Hi, I'm Carl Hoops. I am Utah State University's equine extension specialist. I'm going to do a demonstration here on vaccinating a horse. As we come up and we approach the horse, we're going to be looking for some specific areas. One of those areas, the most common area utilized, is the muscle in this neck region. The, most of the vaccines, I think in fact all of the vaccines we give horses are intramuscular vaccines and so we want to make sure we have a good muscle group. The common areas that we're going to use are this area right here in the neck. You can use the pectoral muscles and you can also come to the back end and give it in the hind quarters. Most of the time for safety reasons we, we stay in the neck area. When we look at our landmarks for this area, we want to make sure that we are avoiding the spine. This is where the horse's spine is. We want to avoid that region. They have a very strong ligament right here called the nuchal ligament. And obviously you don't want to inject the vaccine into a ligament. You want to do it in the muscle group so you avoid this region. Also their scapula comes right down through here. That's their shoulder blade. And so you want to make sure that you're in this triangle area surrounding that area. You want to make sure that that is the, where you're at. Okay, as you open or as you prepare the the site, you want to make sure that there's no debris. So obviously we've cleaned off the mud, we've cleaned off the gross debris, and then we're using alcohol to prepare the area. That is washing it. You can look at the alcohol pad. If it's pretty dirty, you can do it again. We want to make sure that we're avoiding taking any debris, any dirt, any bacteria into that area. We take the vaccine. You make sure that the needle is secured properly. Okay. You're, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little bit of a pinch so that we're pulling the skin forward just a little bit. We're going to insert the needle. We're going to draw back and make sure that there is no blood coming into the needle. That would indicate that you're in a blood vessel. Um, we don't want to be in a blood vessel. We want it to be in the muscle. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to remove the cap from the needle. I'm going to put a pinch there. So we're pulling the skin forward a little bit. We're going to insert the needle and you can see that it does. He does react a little bit. I think all of us would. I draw back to make sure that there's no blood. And when there is no blood, I go ahead and inject the vaccine. Then I remove the needle. And as I let the skin go, the, the skin or the needle poke through the skin is here, but I injected the vaccine up here. That prevents anything from coming out. Also, we, we massage it just a little bit to um, desensitize the area and allow them to, to recover.